What would y'all do if y'all got a month's worth of unemployment all at once? I'm the one. I'm the one. Why? Today is Wednesday, August 12th, and yesterday I came into some 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 money. I came into some money. I finally got unemployment. It is August. The coronavirus has been going on for a very long time. I stopped working in July and I'm just now getting a month a month's worth of unemployment all at once so what would y'all do if y'all got a month's worth of unemployment all at once i'm curious leave it in the comments because i really want to know because i bought some shit like when i say i bought some shit like i bought like a lot of shit like so i just got my notification and i got four different codes all my packages for today came in so i must go get those right now So yeah, I'm sitting on my floor because I got like kind of like a lot of stuff. This is the first shipment out of all the things that I bought. Okay, so I got me some muffin pans because I've been making a lot of blueberry muffins lately. Um, I got two because I've only been making 12 muffins and Donovan and I, we devour them so fast. It doesn't make any sense. It was like, I need more muffin pans because just 12 isn't enough. Um, I'm gonna throw out the other one because I don't want, I don't like how it looks. And I think this can last for like, 24 muffins should last us maybe two to three days, I hope. I got AirPods. What happened to my AirPods? I had bought my first pair of AirPods uh, shortly after Donovan and I started talking. So that means I I haven't had my AirPods for two years yet. Um, before I fucking. So what happened was I was at work. I was on the phone with Donovan, and I was about to put my AirPods back in the case. And for some reason, Apple, y'all need to fix this. When I went to put my AirPods in the case, the case fell out my hand. It was closed. The case was closed. With the AirPod in it. It fell, it hit the floor. When it hit the floor, it opened up and the AirPod flew out the case. It was a closed case. It hit the ground and the AirPod flew out. And I'm watching this whole shit happen. It flew out and you see like how there's a crack underneath the door? Cause I was at Whole Foods and this is in one of the shopping aisles. It was like a crack like that. That that small that nothing, you your fingers can't really fit through nothing like that. It had to be the exact size of the fucking AirPod. And it, was, it wasn't a crack that was supposed to be there. It was something might have hit it and created a dent in it that lifted the metal up off the floor, but everything else was on the floor. That's the only spot in that aisle that was like that. And my AirPods, my AirPod happened to slide in that precise ass little hole and I, I couldn't even be mad because i'm like obviously that's god saying i don't need I, like i don't need that airpod there's like for that to happen the way that it did the airpod was in the case it was the case was closed it had to hit the ground in a certain angle and trajectory for it to open and then the airpod then had to slot not just fall out but slide and hit that point precisely of the of the fucking um of the aisle where there happened to be a hole that is nowhere else in the aisle and just get lost in so i'm like okay and then i have one airpod this whole time and i lost my airpod case like i don't even know where my airpods are right now um i think it's in here i might have I, it might not be in here i haven't seen it in a very long time so i ended up getting some brand new airpods uh, these are not the airpod pros Brand new AirPods. I'm gonna set that up later. 
So what else did I get? I got a selfie stick. Uh, gone is the time where I have to hold my phone up like this just to see myself. I'm gonna have my selfie stick. I believe the Bluetooth button is removable. Actually, where's the instructions? Because, oh, you have to slide up. Let me say that. So this also doubles as a, oh, okay, there's a battery in here. Oh, okay. This doubles as a Bluetooth button to just like use on its own outside of the selfie stick, which I think is really cool. I already have a Bluetooth um, clicker, but two won't hurt. Oh, and it also came with an extra battery, which I'm happy about because I remember the um the battery on the other one had stopped working and I was like, damn, I guess I have to throw this shit out. And I didn't realize that they sell batteries this small in the store. Take a picture and pop. See? Okay. That shit kinda, kinda heavy. So this slides in here. Oh, and then this opens up to a tripod. Let's take my first selfie with my selfie stick. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Oh, I'm cute with this. I'm cute with this. I'm cute with the selfie stick. Okay, another thing that I feel like people who really be killing the game be doing that I wasn't really able to do is like use the back camera because I'm like, damn, I don't know if it's gonna focus on me. But now with the selfie stick, how could it not focus on you, feel me? So let's see how this is gonna come out. Might have to buy another one for Donovan. Oh, I got the, I got the, ooh, TikTok, TikTok, watch it the fuck out. Okay, let's see. I'm hilarious. I didn't put it, I didn't flip the camera. So I ain't take no pictures of me just now. I'm gonna put all the pictures. <laughs> oh, this one is fun. Excuse me. So, I got me one of those um, countertop or very small flexible tripods that can support a DSLR. Is this a, oh wow, is this another one? Bruh, I'm gonna, I have so many now. Tripod thing, ooh. This is one of those ones that you could wrap around the tree and shit. Um, I saw that, that the other ones were a bit harder to maneuver. So that's why I ended up going with this one. But this is supposed to support the DSLR, which is what I'm currently filming on right now. So that's, I'm not gonna show it. What else? Uh, this, I wasn't expecting to look like this because I never saw the packaging. I'm surprised Katie isn't good enough. She doesn't care for me right now. Um, what is this? So this is for sewing. Um, I saw that this fucking AC. I'm learning. I'm learning. No ACs in my videos because that should be sounding so crazy. I didn't know that it came in like a little metal can like this. Um, which I think is really cute. It reminds me of something that I really want to do. I want to have a music box collection. I feel like I, I just love music box. My, my music boxes. My aunt that would watch me um, when I was growing up. Auntie Bali. She would have music boxes all over the house and you know, we just twisted and they would like play beautiful piano songs and all that stuff. So I told myself that I really, really want um, music boxes when I have my own situation. I'm gonna have like a collection of those. These are clips for sewing. The reason why I got them is because I feel like they will be easier to use instead of the pins that I'm currently using. Not instead of, but like, it has to grip, it'll hold it together. And with pins, you have to be very aware of what direction you're putting the pin in because if 
if you put the pin in this way and the ball is on this side but you're sewing the fabric this way it's hard for you to get underneath while you're sewing to pull the ball out to get the pin out so this is gonna circumvent that problem for me um, having these pins so and I didn't even know it came with so many so this is like this is good and it's so cute like I didn't know that it was gonna come with this little metal basket thing but okay so I also got some mouthwash this is Fair Breath my aunt the same one that um, has the music boxes she's a dental hygienist and she had stayed at, at our house um, for a little bit when she had came to New York because she lives in Florida and I remember seeing her use this brand it's called Fair Breath and then I, I was looking at it and everything like that and I like I really like it a lot I've been using it it has no alcohol, no artificial flavors, no colors. Whenever I have money, I definitely try to get the mouthwash. This is the healthy gums one because I be feeling like I have gum problems. What else did I get? I got the Goddess Strength Leave-In Conditioner. I've used this before and the bottle that I had, it's finished. I use it in my hair and I use it in Donovan's hair and Donovan's hair is growing like really, really fast. My hair, I've been neglecting it. It's been, it needs to be washed and all that. So, um, there's that. I got some, oh, this is my first time buying this. Thank God it's Naturals Twist and Define Cream. So I'm very excited to try this product out and it's probably going to get its own video. I also love, once again, very limited ingredients. Like, I, I'm, I'm really getting into the mix of getting products with limited ingredients this one not so much but i still i do enjoy the product and then i also got a thank god it's natural honey miracle mask probably gonna use these two in the same video or what else did i get oh yeah i got two muffin pans and i also got 300 of these paper baking cups because when i would bake when i was younger i used to try to make muffins and cupcakes and stuff in the baking pans and i'm like i'm never doing that again once i discovered these paper cups just paper cups in general i'm like why would i ever why would i ever just bake it in the pan i have to cut it out and then sometimes you get the muffin stuck in the bottom of the pan nah it doesn't even it don't even make sense to attempt you don't have to do to when you bake it it's done period so and then the baking and then the blueberry muffin recipe that i have too i love it so much i have fucking airpods i don't like i don't want to bother donovan in the nighttime i have overhead over ear um headphones for like when i record my music and everything but i prefer having airpods um for when i am not using my over ear my over ear headphones because they squish my ears and then they start to hurt after a while okay and then now i have some organic sweet almond oil um i wanted to buy this from the start but it was a bit pricey actually this is actually cheaper than the one that they sell in whole foods that i have in there and this is organic that one is, is only non-gmo so i'm very excited to try this it's 100 percent pure and natural organic sweet almond oil this is also a carrier oil so if i wanted to put other things there she is I'm like i don't know why kitty hasn't pulled up on me yet um if you wanted to add like tea tree oil, lavender oil, all those types of oils, this would be a good oil to do that with. But I, I love using this to help with like my marks and to help to retain moisture after I shower. And I honestly could probably put this in, in my hair too. I also got us um, a new shower curtain for the bathroom. So I'm excited to put this in. Hopefully it looks as cute as I thought it would. And then I also got another clear shower curtain because I bought the wrong size last time. And when I bought the wrong size, it gave us like, I had to put, I had to buy another one of the wrong sized one and put two of them together. It, cause I got the size of like, if you were to use a gym's bathroom, that's what it looks like to me. And I'm like, mm, it doesn't cover the whole tub. And then for the last thing I got, a glass pitcher I love glass in the in the house I think that having any type of plastic silverware plastic cutlery cuddle cuddlery cutlery isn't the way to go so this is a 60 ounce glass pitcher 
Is 16 ounces a lot? I don't think it's a lot. Shit. I don't think I wanted to get the 60 ounce one. I think I wanted to get the 100 ounce. Fuck, did I buy the wrong one by accident? Then fuck, I did get the wrong one. I wanted to get the 100 ounce. So I'm gonna return this. All right, so the 100 ounce one is gonna get here on Friday. And the reason why I want a big one is for us to put hemp milk in it because Donovan uses it to make waffles in the morning and we go through hemp milk pretty fast. So we would have to make milk like basically every day if we use a 60 ounce pitcher. And um, I do have a 60, another 68 ounce one on the way. And that is for um, that is for me to start making juice because I like to make hibiscus tea lim hibiscus tea limeade. And right now we don't have anything to put it in, so it's just you know like I really want the house. I want to be able to indulge in everything that I want to in this house. If I want to drink some juice, I can go in the fridge and pour some juice. That will not kill me. It's literally because um, I make it out of hibiscus leaves or sorrel um Jama which is jamaican hibiscus limes and agave and boom you got your limeade and that's all the stuff for today i'm gonna be filming this video again tomorrow because i have more stuff coming in that i bought i bought a shit ton of stuff so stay tuned The view from the top of the podium, out of your sodium wingspan. I am the they itching to see when you sitting with me, you a wingman.